Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. My name is Deanna and of course this is Daisy Beauty Studios. Now today, by the title, y'all can see that I'm going to be doing a Netflix and chill get ready with me and I'm going to have some recommendations for you guys as far as what to watch on Netflix. If you're interested in anything that I've just discussed, keep on watching. First, what you want to do is you want to get clean. So if you're going to hang out with anybody, whether it's your girlfriends or a little guy friend or a bae or anything like that, you want to make sure you're clean. You want to make sure your hygiene is on point. I do have an updated hygiene routine. going to go ahead and link that down in the description box below. Okay? Um, along with some other helpful hygiene videos. So that's the first thing you want to do. You make sure you make sure you get yourself clean, okay? So after you've gotten yourself clean, an outfit together, like something that you would want to wear. Um, so it depends on what you're doing. If the instance is you just go into with your girlfriends or whatever like that, I also have a Fenty haul video where you can kind of get some cute suggestions out of there for loungewear. And I'm also going to show you some options getting ready with me. Now you can wear like sweatpants and a t-shirt. Or you can wear like um, a cute little pair of jeans and a t-shirt. You can wear a crop top, a denim jacket and some jeans. You can wear some slides. You can wear some tennis shoes. It all depends on what you want to do when you're going for this Netflix and chill session. Now, if you're going to be staying the night over somebody's house when you're Netflixing and chilling, you need to make sure you pack you a cute outfit to go home to. Now, what I suggest for this is like some cute active wear so um a sports bra and a pair of leggings preferably high-waisted because it makes your body look bomb it makes the body look good okay it makes the body look all the way together so you want to make sure you have like a sports bra and a cute pair of high-waisted pants with like a little throwover shirt something like that you want to make sure you pack a toothbrush you want to make sure you pack like a face wash and a facial spray because you're going home right after so you don't about to be doing all the extensive stuff make sure you pack a facial wash a facial spray and a sunscreen moisturizer situation going on um a toothbrush toothpaste um, you need to make sure you have a change of clothes and some little wipes to wipe yourself up um, from sweating through the night. For your face, I feel like you don't have to do that much. You can do a quick beat, you know what I'm saying? Um, eyebrows, some lashes, and a lip gloss, or you can go all the way out, baby girl. Now, for me personally, what I like doing when I'm going to chill with somebody, I like my natural skin to show and glow. So first, what I like to do is wash my face thoroughly um, with the products that I'm using at that time. Right now, I'm using the Fenty Skin Line because I'm testing it out, seeing how I like it. Um, that's what I've used right now on my skin. So I'm using the Fenty Skin Line. Um, and I like it, but you need to, I want my skin to glow. So basically what I'm going to do is do my eyebrows, some lashes, and do a cute little lip situation. Make sure you have your hair done. So the look I think I'm going to be doing for my hair is like a cute space bun look. I always suggest when you go to someone else's house for like a Netflix and chill situation, you need to have a pair of socks and you need to have a blanket. Um, cause you don't know what temperature they're going to have their house on and you just want to have those items just in case you never want to be walking around someone's house, you know, with like your bare feet. So you just want to have like some cute little socks and a cute little blanket with you just in case, you know, you get a little cold or whatever, you know, during the movie. You want to just make sure that you also smell good. So you want a little mist. I have a perfume video um, and I'm going to go ahead and link that down below with like my hygiene video and all the other videos I think that are going to be important, you know, in reference to this as well in the description box. I always suggest doing like a mist when you go to someone's house that way. If you have to uh, like spray it again on yourself or apply it again, it's not too overbearing. So once you got all that together and you got your backpack, girl, you ready to go. You ready to go. Only thing I suggest, the last thing I suggest is kind of taking your own snacks too just in case the person don't got no snacks you know you can take your own snacks during the movie make sure you take you some water like a Powerade or something like that um you can take you like some little chips maybe like one type of candy in there you can take you some crackers anything some nuts and berries and um raisins or whatever anything that you particularly like kind of munching on you can take that with you so that's what i suggest for my netflix and chill like recommendations of like what to do get ready with me style um and now here are my recommendations Watch a lot of things i have um netflix pulled up now 
so it depends on what you what kind of netflix and chill is this like so if this is like a fourth date netflix and chill like some with a boo or a bae or somebody you like i always suggest like watching movies i don't suggest watching series with that person unless you know like this is a long time person now this if this is with your boo your bae like your man or your girl you can watch a series so for series i suggest lucifer i think that's a bomb series i like raising dion i like the three percent I like the 100. Now for movies, if you're with your girls or if you're with like a um, third or fourth date type of thing and y'all decided y'all wanted to let each other in either one of your space and do like a Netflix and chill situation, like a movie night. Um, I like Molly's Game. So that was a good movie for me. I like Six Underground. I like The Old Guard. The Old Guard was a really, really good movie. So I like that. Um, I like Spencer Confidential. That was a funny movie. Oh, you guys, another series is The Umbrella Academy. Bomb! If you haven't watched it, go watch it. They just put up season two, I believe. It's bomb, y'all. Another movie is The Fatal Affair with Nia Long and... um. Omar Epps like I thought that was a good movie even though it's predicting or whatever I thought it was a good movie what happened to Monday was a good movie um Bright was a good movie to watch um A Fall from Grace is a good movie to watch with somebody kind of just see perspective that could be a good movie to like talk about what happened during the movie or whatever they have a lot of good documentaries on Netflix if you're into documentaries and like conversation pieces you can go and research some documentaries but those are just my suggestions because I feel like those are lighthearted enough and conversational pieces to watch now girl make sure you choose a movie or a series based on the vibe of the two people don't just choose something that's like all on left field choose something that's based on the vibe and i also suggest finishing the whole series or movie with that person so you guys can create like memories and things to talk about so on and so forth so just make sure you're doing that um make sure you're talking about it though like after the movie goes off that's a good conversation some people don't know how to like start conversations or break the ice but once you watch a series or a movie together that's actually something that you can like talk about i also want to emphasize um that it's actually okay some people think that because netflix and chill has got this stigma of like netflix and chill if you know what i mean um people think that that's all netflix and chill has to be now if you're on that type of energy both parties are on that type of energy by all means do you boo if y'all that's what y'all want do you but if you're not on that type of energy it's okay to not be on that type of energy if you feel like the person that you're chilling with is on that type of energy and y'all you aren't I don't suggest you do a Netflix and chill with them because it could become a potentially uncomfortable situation. The main thing is to have fun and if it is a date situation, make sure you're getting to know the person, not during the movie, but you know, you can guys can talk before the movie, watch the movie, eat little snacks, you know what I'm saying? And then talk after the movie, talk about the movie. I actually think it's really cute to like do movie dates and picnics and walks and because that gives you time to get to know people when you're in the courting stage that's why i really wanted to do this get ready with me netflix and chill to also give you guys recommendations and to get ready with me and have fun but to also just let you guys know like it's okay if you don't want to do like certain things and if you just want to be courted or if you want to court and date it's cool like i know it's 2020 about to be 2021 but it's totally cool to just like chill Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you all. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. Like this video. And don't forget to give someone your smile today.